Hey, what's up folks? How's it going? This is Wodge. Hope you guys are all doing well. So with the new launch of the GTX 1060, Zotech was kind enough to actually send us a copy of their new Amp Edition 1060. And what we wanted to do is obviously a comparison between how this new GPU stacks up against AMD's latest offering, the RX 480. So if you want to know which mid-range graphics card is the best overall value, let's go ahead and find out. Now in terms of specifications, when we take a look at the RX 480 versus the GTX 1060, in terms of overall shader units, we do have about 1280 CUDA cores on the 1060 uh, versus about uh, 2,304 stream processors on the AMD side. ROMs, we do have more ROMs on the 1060 48 versus 32. And uh, transistor count level is uh, quite a lot higher on the RX 480. It has about 5.7 billion versus about 4.4 billion on the 1060 side when it comes to overall uh, video uh, memory uh, the uh, bandwidth is a uh, slightly larger on the rx480 also we do have uh, more memory available of eight gigabytes versus about six gigabytes on the 1060 the memory uh, bus is larger on the rx480 it is a 256 bit bus versus the uh, 1060 as 192 bit bus both the uh, memory clocks are run at 8000 megahertz and when it comes to the overall core Four clock speeds uh, the 1060 is really really fast in fact the uh, amp edition uh, from Zotech that we have over here runs at uh, over 1700 megahertz on its boost frequency versus the RX 480 runs around 1266 megahertz on its factory settings now the first thing I want to take a look at is the overall power consumption and with the new drivers on the AMD side the efficiency levels have definitely gone up from the initial launch of the RX 480s and at full uh, gaming load uh, the car draws about 164 watts on average based on uh, my specific scenario versus in the exact same uh, settings and situation the 1060 draws about 136 watts so uh, give or take 25 to 30 watts there is a difference between uh, the two cards so in most cases it's not going to make a big real world difference but critically speaking the 1060 is uh, certainly more efficient now when it comes to overall temperatures uh, the cooler on the RX 480 the stock uh, reference design is not very good that blower design is pretty darn old-fashioned and at gaming load it goes all the way up to the high 80s degrees celsius versus uh, thanks to the dual 90 millimeter fans that we have on the zotac amp edition uh, as well as an excellent overall heat sink that does a great job of dissipating uh, the heat at full gaming load uh, the uh, gtx 1060 certainly stays a lot cooler at around 70 degrees c at full gaming load furthermore when it comes to the overall noise level uh, since we can run the fans at a lower RPM on the 1060 side, it is uh, certainly a little bit more quiet. Uh, roughly peaks around 35 uh, decibels uh, at gaming load versus 37 decibels on the RX 480 side. Now, let's actually take a look at some uh, gaming benchmark results. First, taking a look at uh, two synthetic benchmarks, the uh, 3D Mark Fire Strike at 1080p. We get about 11,201 points on our GTX 1060 versus about 10,274 on our RX 480 side. And on the new Time Spy uh, 3D Mark benchmark, you can see also similar results 4141 on our 1060 versus the RX 480 gets about 4,000. 78 points so slightly faster overall uh, results from these uh, synthetic benchmarks on the nvidia side compared to what we have on the rx 480s but with that done let's actually take a look at some real world uh, games and see which one comes out on top
Now, in summary, in pretty much every example and every game that I play, it's uh, pretty much clear that the GTX 1060 is definitely the faster overall gaming solution from a single graphics card standpoint. And in most scenarios, even with driver updates, you're going to have a hard time kind of beating it with the RX 480s. And based on uh, my experience, I found that the performance difference was as a little as 5% to as great as 25%, depending upon a certain gaming title and detail settings and resolution but at the end of the day the price will always uh, fluctuate depending upon where you are in the world and which versions of these gpus you're getting uh, typically the msrp for the 4 gigabyte version of the rx 480 retails for around uh, 200 dollars and if you want the 8 gigabyte version like we have uh, they typically go for anywhere between 230 dollars to 250 and at launch the gtx 1060 starts around uh, 249 dollars and can go all all the way up to the $300 mark and of course with different sales and as we progress uh, throughout the months the pricing will always get more and more competitive so hopefully this video helped you out if it did give us a thumbs up that really helps us out tremendously thanks again to Zotech for providing a, a GTX uh, 1060 without them this video wouldn't be possible and we also have a dedicated review for uh, the amp edition of the uh, 1060 check out the link in the description or just click on the, the card that comes up up to watch that full review but really other than that guys thanks again for watching and take care